Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here, hi hello I'm Lydia and today I'm doing a video talking about some of the misconceptions relating to trauma disorders and this is a video I've kind of had a plan to make for a while but I also haven't made so here we are. <laughs> Let's go over some of the misconceptions about trauma disorders. PTSD is the only trauma disorder. It's totally incorrect. Trauma can cause the most common known trauma based disorders are dissociative identity disorder, DPDR, depersonalization, derealization, otherwise specified dissociative disorder, PTSD, acute stress disorder, depression, anxiety, and borderline personality disorder. So, as you just heard, there are a lot of other trauma disorders. So, the second misconception is that you have to been to war. War is not the only kind of trauma. Yes, it is traumatizing, but there are so many other forms of trauma. Child abuse, domestic violence, witnessing an event because of your job. There are so many different things that can cause trauma and I couldn't sit and list every single one. People should just move on. I've had this said a lot that I should just forget about things, move on and focus on the future. If only it worked that way. So a lot of the time I end up dissociating and having flashbacks and I'm not exactly with it all the time. I wish this was something I could just move on from and forget but it really doesn't work like that. The only real proven way to move on from trauma is therapy. There are no medications out there to do that. Therapy is the only way you can work through things. That being said there are a lot of different forms of therapy. Just type Type in on Google trauma therapies and a lot of results will come up. Maybe there's one out there that will help you and it will change your life. Trauma is extremely hard to live with. There are so many misconceptions out there that people with trauma are just weak, just need to move on. And so many of them irritate me and they offend a lot of people. Being told, oh just forget about it, invalidates the experience and what you've been through. Another misconception is that trauma is just one event. And that's just not true. There are many different there are many different forms of trauma. Another misconception is that only at risk populations are at risk for trauma disorders being war or something like that. Trauma is a life sentence. It really, really isn't a life sentence. I never see it that way. Yes, what you went through will be with you for the rest of your life. Nothing can change that. Nothing can change the past. It has not destroyed your life forever and there is hope. The best thing people with trauma can do is get therapy, continue living their life. I know with trauma it is so easy. I just don't want to wake up tomorrow. Or to make an attempt on your life, I know that feeling. I've been there. I've made attempts on my life. I'm, when I talk about things, I'm talking from experience. I'm in no way a professional in the mental health field, but I do have experience. A big misconception as well is you can only be traumatised if you've experienced a life-threatening event. That is categorically untrue. It means we're, we are hurting. Trauma is pain. You feel it very intensely. Num another misconception. If you're strong, you can make it through the trauma by, by yourself. Do I need to explain when that is untrue? Just because someone is coping does not mean they can get through it on their own. Trauma is incredibly hard to deal with on your own. I have not had much support for PTSD apart from when I went private. I'm only just now getting a referral to trauma services through the NHS. I have done private therapy before because very simply people thought I could just cope with it because my life has been event after event. People just think oh she'll probably be able to deal with it and that's really not the case. Every new little layer of trauma that I've experienced has made things ten times worse. When it comes to PTSD it is a very lethal mental health condition. It's not the most lethal because it's almost lethal but it does lead to a lot of suicidal yeah. So focusing solely on sexual assault for a minute. You can never get back what that person took from you. You can never unlive that event. You can never go back in time and stop it from happening. You can never truly grasp why they did it, what they did it. That is something that's so to even comprehend, let alone deal with on your own. I'd highly advise against trying to manage trauma on your own. The last misconception that I want to cover nothing good ever comes from a traumatic event and I feel like I'm going to be confused by that one. It's vitally important to distinguish the difference between the event and the outcome. Nothing positive about the trauma. It so wouldn't choose it then or not. There is nothing beneficial about losing a loved one or being diagnosed with cancer. Nevertheless, we can all learn something beneficial from the sorrow. Contrary to popular opinion, experience and growth after trauma is far more common than PTSD. I've studied that up to 90% of trauma survivors eventually attest a renewed desire for life. You can learn from every experience. 
lesson trauma is no exception you can learn so many life lessons from it you can learn not to make the same mistakes with other people you can learn to help other people who are going through or at risk of going through what you've been through use it as a lesson don't let it define your life don't let it be something that, that you think is going to destroy your life trauma is not the end game trauma is not the end to your life trauma is not something that has destroyed your life forever yes it is horrible no matter what you've been through it's horrible to live with trauma and go through anything but your life isn't over and your life is important and you can teach and learn so much from experience like this channel this channel would not exist had I not been through what I've been through, I would not make the videos I make if I had not been through what I've been through and know what I know. I am in no way recovered, not even close. Pretty much daily basis, I don't have many days where I go without having flashbacks or nightmares. And I am glad to be alive. And that's what, where I'm going to end this video. If you are new or if you have any thoughts on this subject, any other misconceptions you think should have been covered, please feel free to comment them down below. If you have any video requests relating to trauma or any other mental health condition, let me know in the comments down below as well. I want you to know that you are loved, you are worthy, and your experience are valid. Peace.